Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got good news today. Got the digital readout back on the mill. I had a helpful uh, viewer that lives close by stop by yesterday. And the Tory sang all the way back apart again. And um, the suspicion was correct that I had that the ribbon cable area was the problem. And uh, several viewers had suggested that that was the place to look, that the vertical hold signal came from the main card and was not actually in the module on the readout. So I checked continuity across it and determined that the pins were not making good connections. So we resoldered that and fixed the board section because some of the traces were pulled out. And he showed me how to wrap wire around it and solder it and go out into the trace and tie it back together. And we got it all back up. And it should be working. It was yesterday. We'll find out. Ta it's like I'm back in operation. And it's still reading. Anyway, looks like he's back working. So it's been brought up a lot. Why would even bother to fix this? Uh, this is a, a decent digital readout. It has whole pattern on it. Uh, can do incremental absolute, inch metric, which is pretty standard. Degrees, rotation. It's four axis capable and I have the extra read card in it, I just don't have any axes for it. So I could add two more, one for the spindle and one for the table, which would be really slick to have that. Someday perhaps I will. So I can add that to this box. Also the, uh, you see the brightness is working like it's supposed to now. It has tool offsets and tool libraries and you can do uh, compensations with it too if you have an axis that doesn't register just exactly right or if you're trying to get you know really super mapped out from how the mill moves you can do that as well but uh, hadn't really been necessary this machine's pretty straight for the most part from what I can tell it's uh, plenty good within the tolerances that I tend to work in so Happy to have this working again. Now I can move on to other projects like Bailey's Doggy Door. I would have shown how this, uh, how we did all the repair work on here, but the guy that helped me do this didn't want to be on camera. So I respected that and didn't film any of it. I almost forgot. I got this, uh, the viewer gave me this portable oscilloscope too for field use. So if I have issues in the future, I'll be able to use this to do a little bit more inspection of the circuits than I can do with just a plain DMM. So this will be very handy. Thank you very much. But it's fixed and that's the important part. And that's why this, uh, doing these YouTube videos is a huge resource for me. And I enjoy interacting with the viewers and learning from you guys. I uh, hope that you can learn some from me, but I learn just as much from you all a lot of times. So I really enjoy doing it. And thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.